Hello again, today we will show you a much forgotten art of making your own lard. For first, let's see what you will need to make beautiful lard for your baking and other uh, frying and whatever you use it in the kitchen for. Okay, most of all you will need uh, lard from uh, uh, a pig, a pork lard that is cut into smaller pieces like this, little cubes and make sure that your butcher will uh, give you lard that is from the back of a uh, pork or a back of a pig, not the inner lard. Uh, this is about two, uh, four pounds, two kilograms of lard. You will also need a wooden spoon. You will need a pot that has a very strong uh, a bottom. Uh, you will need a ladle to scoop the lard out and strain it through this uh, strainer into a jar. I use a little plate underneath uh, just in case I spill it, I don't have all greasy counter. You will also need uh, the, uh, well, eight ounces of water, filtered water, of course, clean water, uh, which is uh, well, quarter of a liter for metric uh, users. And you will need uh, a beer. Uh, I will. We will go back to it when we use it. I explain how and why. And that is all you need for beautiful delicious aromatic lard for your cooking and baking needs. Okay, uh, the stove is turned on medium high. The pot is heated up here. Then we will simply put all the lard in. And a uh, mm, few pieces left here. They don't want to go any. Uh, it's too hot there for them, I guess. And I'll mix it a little bit. Yeah, loosen it up and pour the water in. Now, I will be coming back here and mixing it every 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, even if there is a water, I'll be checking on it. And we will get back when uh, the lard will start melting and uh, showing you when to put a beer in. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes. Uh, we mix the mix the lard in uh, in the pot. Now is the time to put the beer in. The reason for beer is that it will uh, make the uh, leftover uh, from the lard very uh, golden brown and crispy. We'll show you that at the end. And also, it gives a very beautiful taste to uh, to the lard as you will witness yourself. I'm using my favorite beers. One is uh, uh, Krušovice, which has been uh, a brewery, has been brewing this since 1581. Uh, it's not available in, in uh, all the stores, but you get them in Canadian stores. Or my second favorite would be uh, Czechwar, which is uh, originally from uh, Budweiss city in Bohemia. Uh, they've been brewing this uh, great stuff for 700 years. The name is not very known uh, uh, here, uh, although, although uh, uh, Eisenhower Bush has made it world famous uh, as Budweiser. Unfortunately, they ne never learned how to make it good. So I am uh, uh, I'm using today, I'm going to use uh, Czech water. Uh, and uh, so let's put it in. Okay, let's open this beauty and test it out. I like to see if, if the foam is good and everything, so we are going to pour it in. There we go. Yeah, it's a perfect, perfect head, beautiful beer. Uh, so we are going to pour it right in. Okay, fantastic. Every drop is in. It will give us a nice taste to our lard and very beautiful golden brown residue. Hey, and what are we going to do with this? Well, this is the beauty of cooking. I'll drink it to your health.
Okay, we are almost there and now for the next half an hour I'll be stirring it and straining the lard right off the top like this. Okay, so let's see the end results. Uh, you remember we had uh, four pounds or two kilograms of lard. Uh, you should uh, get two and a half glasses of pure lard from it. Uh, if you put a lid on when it's still hot, it will seal and preserve. It does not have to be in fridge at all. And what is left over is uh, that much of cracklings or German call them degribe or French roulon or chicharron in Spanish, squarky in Czech and Russian. I use them in uh, baking or in soups, beans and so on and so forth. But that's some other time. Bon appetit!